hard see what is this is it as hard as a stone soft see is it as soft as a cotton can few letters of english alphabet be hard and soft yes they are possible yes. so do you want to learn what is hard letter and what is a soft letter so hi this is shweta gupta and today we are going to discuss the hardness and the softness of the letter c that means the letter c sometimes give you the hard sound and sometimes it gives you the soft sound so what are those rules there are five rules in which the letter c behaves as hard and in some of the cases it behaves as a soft sound so rule number 1 now whenever the letter c is followed by a o u r or l then always it will give you the sound of the letter k whenever the letter c gives you k sound letter c k sound letter c k c k so both these two sounds are different and that is why here the letter c will be called as the hard sound so here the letter c is the hard sound where a o u r l is there after the letter c let us see few words k at cat now here it will not be sat cat cot cut clap so here all these words are explaining that whenever c is followed by the letter a a a o o o u u u l r r then in that case it will give you the sound of k that is the hard k sound So this rule is very easy and in the same way you can give it to the children just make a poster like this you may do this in the form of the kinesthetic activity in the class and the children will really love it just make a cat in the form of the c and ask your children to put in these letters here that what are those sounds with the help of which this letter c is going to give you the k sound so just see the rule in detail that whenever the letter c is followed by a o u or any other consonant then always it will give you the sound of k as in car coat cat cow cup cut and cut so here you might notice that after the letter c either a o u or r or l is coming and that is why the letter c is giving you the sound of k that is your hard sound what are those cases in which letter c gives you s sound those cases are known as the softness of the letter c let us see the rule if the vowels i e or y comes after the letter c then always the letter c will give you the soft sound that is as in face so here you can see we have a magic e rule here and after letter c since e is coming that is why this letter will give you the sound of face dice so see ice mice circus now this is not circus this is circus why this is circus because after the letter c i is coming because of which this letter is giving you the soft sound that is and after this c u is coming because of which the letter c is taking the hard sound that is k and that is why it will take the sound of circus what is the correct pronunciation of the word so cas similarly we have prince and we have the cycle so what are the rules associated with it let us deep delve into it rule number 1 related to soft c and hard c when adding a vowel suffix a o u now if your word ends in ce that is the base word the soft c sound is there no this and you are adding any of the vowel suffix now this is a vowel suffix why this is a vowel suffix because it is beginning with this letter which is a vowel and that is why it is called as a vowel suffix so whenever a word which ends in the soft c and you are adding a vowel suffix to it in that case the letter e never gets replaced by any other letter instead able will automatically be added to it fully as in notice able notice able because if you remove e over here then what will happen is it will become noticable because after let us see if a comes it will become hard sound and that is why it will start giving the sound of k. 
So if you remove e over here, which is the rule for adding many of the vowel suffixes to the base word. So if you add, especially in case of the soft c words, if the base word is having c e at the end because of the softness of the sound, if you are adding vowel suffix to it, in that case the e is never removed but able is automatically added to it and that is why the word becomes noticeable trace able traceable so children commit a lot of mistakes while writing the words like this they remove e and then write trace t r a c able a b l e traceable they don't write e over here because of which the word changes into trackable it's not trackable it's traceable similarly we have service plus able service able and that is why this is your rule number one now rule number two as we had seen in the rule number one that we don't remove e while adding the vowel suffix able why because if you remove e and add able to it it will become trackable and that is why we never remove e similar to that if we have a vowel suffix which is ing now this vowel suffix is a special one because it is automatically starting with i because of which the letter c is always soft that is why whenever you have words like this where you are adding vowel suffix and that too only which starts with er or ing then here what happens is service plus ing now i need to remove e over here so that is why servicing becomes service e gets removed and then i because once you remove e then because of the presence of i this letter c is also giving you the sound of the letter sound s that is why it is maintaining the softness while removing e while in the first case after removing e it was not at all maintaining the softness rather it was getting changed into the hard sound so whenever the base word changes into the other word then in that case we need to adjust the softness and the hardness of that particular word similarly trace able so we don't remove e but trace ing we remove e and that is why tracing is like this so traceable e is not removed tracing e is removed because e and i both letters give the softness to the letter c similarly balance plus ing balancing but if it is balanceable then in that case you will not remove e bounce ing bound sing this was your rule number 2 it's pretty tricky so if i ask you when are you going to introduce this rule to the children you will introduce this rule to the children whenever they have learned the vowel and the consonant suffixes once they learn that how the suffixes get added to the base words so as to form the nouns or maybe the adjectives or maybe the words or maybe change the form of the part of the speech then only you will let the children learn the rules like this you will not teach the rule like this in kindergarten section because they don't know what is a vowel suffix they won't be able to understand and this is going to be a lot tricky for them so please don't give this rule to the children while they are there in the kindergarten or in the pre primary or in the basic primary year so you need to give this rule to the children when you are teaching the suffixes and that to the vowel suffix and the consonant suffix to the children rule number 3 so rule number 3 says that whenever two c's are occurring together then you need to identify which rule are they taking two c's means definitely they are going to take some rule first find out what is the letter that is coming after the second c the second c is having i because of which this will take the soft sound that is and now come to the first c this first c is having a consonant after it and that is why it will take the hard sound that is k and that is why the pronunciation of this word becomes a k c d e n t a k c d e n t right so two c's are coming you need to identify what is the placement of these c's always start with the second c first find out what is the letter after the second c if it is i e y then the second c will always give you the sound of s then come to the first c first c is followed by a consonant that is c that is why the first c will always give you the hard sound that is k and that is why you have the words like accord now if you see this word what is the letter that is coming after the second c that is o 
and that is why the second letter the second c will take the sound of k the first c will also take the sound of k both of them are taking the sound of k it has become a digraph now that is why it will say a chord come here here you have u because of u the second c is giving you the k sound the first one is k sound again it has become a consonant digraph and that is why it is accurate come to this word here we have e after the second c that is why the second c is taking the sound of s, s because of the presence of the letter e the first c is taking the sound of k because of the presence of this letter c that is why what is the pronunciation now accent and similarly we have accent accent accept accident accord accurate accent so you can never claim that whenever two c's are coming they may take the sound they may not take the sound two c's together you need to identify what is the vowel sound after the second c that is the primary reason for the correct pronunciation of your word now the rule number 4 now in many cases ci or ce appears in the big suffixes like this whenever ci or ce appears in big suffixes then in that case it will not give you the hard sound or the soft sound instead it will start giving the sound of sh as in this is not cs this is shas shin shun shias and then shun let us see the examples it is not gray cs right it is gray shis what will be the sound of this formation shas similarly kawe shis it is not kawe cs similarly this word is not magi cn it is magi shin so here c i a n is also giving you the sound of shin similarly crustacean cushion etc so whenever c i is coming along in any of the suffix words then in that case it might give you the sound of sh now this rule number 5 is very interesting let me first explain you have the combination of s and c both of them may give you the sound so whenever s and c are coming and after that you have either i e or y then in that case both of them are giving the sound this is a soft c and this is automatically sound the originating sound that means in this case both of them are giving the sound and therefore it becomes your consonant digraph so whenever in any word s and c are coming together and after that you have the vowels like i e or y as in this word in this case c will remain silent because why both of these two letters are combining together so as to form the consonant digraph and it will give you the formation of s, that is the sound s e n t s e n t right similarly seen because e is here the letter c is taking the soft sound and s is automatically having the sound so seen seen science but if you have the words where after the letter c a is coming or o or u or maybe those sounds with the help of which this letter c gives you the hard sound that is a o u r l then in that case this letter c will give you the k sound and this letter s is giving you the sound and that is why the pronunciation changes to s k a l scale similarly if you have a word like this we don't call this word as san why because here c is there and after which we have a so the letter c will take a k sound and the letter s will take s sound so what is the word now sc a n scan so did you see that we have so many rules for soft c and hard c too the only thing that we need to identify here is we need to learn the rules simultaneously we need to give these rules to the children as and when their grade is so please be confirmed that you don't teach all the rules in one go we need to identify the curriculum we need to make a proper curriculum created for the children and identify what all have you taught in the various grades then only the children will be able to identify all these rules so i hope this video must have given a lot of knowledge to you i know that you won't be knowing all the rules that i mentioned here today so if you really like the video 
kindly motivate me by giving the good feedback in the comment box if you have any queries related to it you may leave a comment by asking whatever your question is i will try my level best to give you all the answers so signing off now this is shweta gupta bye bye